Here is a great spider crab, Hyas aranius, that we met on the seabed, viewing us with suspicion. This is Iceland's most numerous crab, and it can be found in the seas all around Iceland. It is, however, of little value as a catch, due to its skinny legs with very little flesh. Lucky for him. There are more than 55,000 species of crustaceans on the earth, and the great majority of them live in the sea. Some, however, live in freshwater lakes, and a few on dry land. Crustaceans are a group of anthropods, which include crabs, lobster, shrimp, amphipods or scuds, and barnacles, to name but a few. Great spider crabs inhabit the seas of the North Atlantic, from the Barents Sea in the north and all the way south of the British Isles and as far as the eastern seaboard of America, from Labrador south to Rhode Island. In fact, it has recently been found in the southern Antarctic and has been classified as an invasive species. We find him on rock faces, gravel and sand, and even on seaweed beds. He is prevalent in the shallows, yet has been found in depths of up to 200 meters. Here on the other hand is the rock crab, Cancer irroratus. He's a newcomer to Icelandic waters, and sometimes designated as an invasive species that could have a negative influence on marine life. However, there's no evidence yet that this newcomer has done any more than add to the diversity of marine life. We met up with this rock crab damsel on our underwater travels in Eyjafjord of the Fjord, and it looks like it has begun breeding there, as this female has a brood of roe. Rock crabs are natives of North American waters, and can be found in similar habitats to spider crabs, right from Labrador south to South Carolina. The rock crab, however, can be found in much greater depths, and has been found up to 750 meters down. Rock crabs have probably reached Icelandic shores as fry, possibly in ballast tanks of liners. Unlike the great spider crab, the rock crab is a fairly valuable catch due to his thick fleshy legs, a possible marine resource in the future for Iceland. Rock crabs were first discovered in Icelandic waters in Qualfjord of the Fjord in 2006 and by 2014 had made the journey north to Eyjafjord. He has probably, as things stand, got his most northerly location for now, but who knows where he will end up if the sea keeps warming up as it has in recent years. Once an attempt was made to introduce the huge red king crab to the Atlantic Ocean as an exploitable marine stock, and it has spread throughout the Barents Sea but only once been found in Icelandic waters. This was a dead specimen that might have been thrown out of a vessel on its way from the Barents Sea. Here we see a rock crab racing across the seabed, perhaps on its way to the Faroe Islands.